The following is a presentation of TFNN. The Tiger Technician Hour with your host, Basil Chapman. Call now, toll free at 1-877-927-6648. Hi everyone, Basil Chapman here on this 29th day of February, Thursday. We're looking at the Dow up 32 at 38,980. So the report with the jobs, uh, the uh, unemployment numbers going higher, all of this actually leads to the idea that there is some, some kind of uh, deflationary aspect. Yep, but at the same time, I'm watching something that, that is... Hmm, I, uh, let me put it this way. If I'm doing just a pure analysis of the market, I'll go through each one as just my indicator of last resort, and that is the nine period over the 14. Uh, maybe I'll go to this chart right here and I'll do it again. So in the Dow, so yes, the SMH is that's the one that popped up. Still above the nine period moving average, um, and the nine is over the 14, so that's still positive. There are signs that are saying um, that there should be some kind of a pullback here. I, I don't want to go all through that right now, other than to say that we do have very small short position. It might get stopped out. I don't, I, I think it's going to hold actually, uh, the way I'm looking at it. Uh, look at the SP, SBX.X. We did have a very short, very tiny uh, short position this morning for about 15, 20 minutes. I'm actually, I wish I could have held it. I didn't, I had the 1.8, 1 just way less than 2% stop on a tiny position of a three times short. But I, I'm i watching this very closely. And, and one of the things I like to look at, as I, as I say, this is the indicator of last resort, the 914 period moving average. But the on-balance volume is suggesting, yep, it's starting to show signs that there could be um, less upside right now, and we're going to be watching that very closely. So that's that. And that's the QQQ, NDX 100, didn't take out the high of uh, five days ago. Uh, it's also just a little bit below that. And that the on-balance volume didn't, hasn't worked at all because it's already pulling back, but the price is going high. That's the divergence. But that nine-period moving average still remains higher. So I need to just clarify that I'm looking at positions that um, we're setting up, even though we have long positions, and they're actually uh, quite, quite a few of them are actually doing quite nicely as we speak right now, our long positions. But this is in preparation, I think, of for a March and I don't mind anticipating it if we lose a little bit. I want to get into this uh, to see how it works um, in this in these conditions, how to test the short side. I don't want to be afraid of the short side. And all I'm saying is those weekly charts are fantastic. So I'm only looking for some kind of abbreviated digestive phase. It might accelerate, but that's got nothing to do with the fact that you try to get into positions. So Dow short, yep, we're still short. Long-term longs, this is just a trading position, and now the Dow is only up 19, starting to fail that big pop-up, and uh, now I want to go through everything else. I want to show you that the XLK, this is the S&P Select Financial Spider Fund, hasn't been able to take out the high that was that peak D high right here. Um, that was on the f February the 12th, yeah, February the 12th at 208.47. I may as well put that in now. 208.47 and yet the funny thing is 208 point, I've, I have not been able to put down arrows in, into any of these topping action uh, charts because they haven't pulled back enough it almost went to a down arrow in the XLK when it dropped from the 208 level all the way to the 196s was that 196 no it was 197 right there that was one 197.07 and then it pops up to the 206s, now it's the 205.86. Um, peak D in the, already a peak D in the, in the weekly chart, only a leg C in the, um, in the monthly. So the weekly chart D, monthly C. Uh, now I want to do something else. I wanted to show you that within the context of what I'm looking at here, uh, the reason why I wanted to at least nibble on a short position on the, on the, S&P, look at this. Here's the spy. I'll do it maybe it's a little clearer. Uh, 
is that within the context of what we're looking at of these moves to the upside, it's just getting harder and harder to break out of this Chapman Wave inside track repellent zone. You see it here in the SPY. You see it here in the Dow. It's just another technique that I developed a long time ago, right there, repellent zone. Uh, the QQQ, it has something very different. It's more like an arch formation. I don't want to get in, I don't want to put it in right now because it hasn't defined itself explicitly, but it's getting to that point where it looks like it. So I'm, I'm very suspicious of the last week's worth, and I I really don't want to get into all the the round numbers. I I can't. I've never seen this before. I, I will just show a couple because I want to show that it's diverse. Look, Eli Lilly goes to 794.47 all time high. Uh, around about mid Feb, has 790 round number high. It has, uh, sorry, 790, um, yes, uh, round number high underneath that. It has, a, today it has, it had a 774 the other day, 763, and today, um, was that yesterday? Yes, let me just check that. Yeah, 763 was the high yesterday, and today it's at 751. It's starting to roll over, and I'll just uh, I'll do uh, I, I should do a couple of these because um, I've spoken about it enough. I, I don't want it to sound like oh man, this is getting boring. I said that the, when it comes to this number of round numbers, that what is a round number? It means instead of going seven ninety point oh one, it goes exactly at seven ninety, and so many are opening. Let me just see arm. Um, I'm at a 164 all-time high round number, and today it is trading at uh, 138. And yesterday, I think it was, there was a round number, was it yesterday? Oh, 137.00 was the low on the 27th. So I, don't, I can't understand how you can get this number because to put... To, I can understand one or two stocks. Let me just find a uh, – no, I'm, I'm done with that. There are just – not dozens. They're in the 30s and 40s numbers that I'm looking at of stocks, but it's not that. Most of them have two to three to four or five even round numbers. So all I can say is I'm looking at this as February. Say let's look at the – I'm looking at this as March. Say by the 20th of March – now, let's go to the beginning, the week of the 18th of March. Where will all these stocks be? And my suspicion is they're going to be quite a lot lower. And I would not be surprised if you're looking at some kind of a top uh, forming each one of these indices this week. It's also allowing areas like the IWM, which is the Russell 2000, which is coming off its uh, recovery high. I'm calling this a leg E in the, in the daily, leg D in the weekly, uh, and, and a just snuck to a leg B in the monthly, it's holding way better. So this is telling us on the next pullback, something like the Russell 2000 could start to move so that the small caps take the slack. I don't know if I'm going to be correct. Let's just see where the uh, SMH is right now. It's up 2.32. It's off the day's high. Um, yeah, we'll have to watch this closely. I'll be back. Oh, Dow's down 82. SMB's off the high. It's at up 80. At up 80. If you're looking for potential trading setups in the stock market, then Rocket Equities and Options Report is a newsletter you should try. Tommy O'Brien delivers options and equity trades when the markets present them using a combination of fundamentals and technicals. Sign up for Rocket Equities and Options Report today with a 30-day money-back guarantee so you have nothing to risk. For all the details and to start your subscription today, visit the front page of TFNN.com. TFNN, educating investors. Everything in the universe is governed by the Fibonacci sequence. This mathematical principle is responsible for everything from the most aesthetically pleasing artwork to patterns in the stock market. To stay on top of stock patterns you can take advantage of, sign up for the Fibonacci 24-7 newsletter at TFNN.com. When you subscribe, you'll get a weekly report from veteran day trader Larry Pesavento on stocks you need to pay attention to. And you can trust Larry's analysis. After all, he's got 45 years 
years' experience as a day trader. Larry will also provide daily charts, videos, and data on the key markets that he's tracking. Expect notifications from Larry on market movement you need to act on at any time. First-time subscribers also get a 30-day money-back guarantee. If you're not satisfied, let us know and you'll get a full refund within 30 days of signing up. Subscribe to the Fibonacci 24-7 newsletter today. TFNN.com, educating investors. The Gold Report. As a precious metal, gold is still king. It continues to hold the most effective safe haven and hedging properties across the global major trading hubs of the London OTC market, the U.S. futures market, and the Shanghai Gold Exchange. The Gold Report. Tom O'Brien publishes his weekly gold report every Monday morning for subscribers, consisting of coverage of the XAU, HUI, GDX, the dollar, bonds, the South African Rand, as well as 25 different mining equities with specific buy-sell recommendations. The Gold Report. New subscribers get a 30-day money-back guarantee so you have nothing to risk. Subscribe to Tom O'Brien's Gold Report newsletter now at TFNN.com. TFNN has launched the Tiger's Den, hosted at Discord. TFNN has been educating traders for more than 20 years with live programming hosted by a variety of professional traders during market hours. The Tiger's Den, available to all tigers and tigresses for just $1 for the year. There's no catch or added costs when you join our community of traders. Sign up today and become a part of this educational community of traders. Just visit the front page of TFNN.com. Call now, toll free at 1-877-927-6648. Internationally at 727-873-7618. So a couple of things that AutoZone makes it all time yesterday. It had a 3,008.00 round number all time high. Today, just broke it by a little bit. It went to 3,025.96. I'm just watching it, but isn't that interesting? Someone paid $3,008.00. Um, let me just see. I want you to also look at Orly because it's in the area that's been really doing extremely well, going to all-time highs. That's the automotive order parts. Um, it's trading at 1,084.98, down $8.00. Oh, and uh, what happened with uh, uh, with AZO, AutoZone, um, it's pulled back quite sharply. So this uh, is trading at 1,084, down 8, uh, 0.98, I should say, because now round numbers are important. I'm calling this an E for now and a C. In the month, in the weekly chart, still very strong. And AAP, AAP is... Um, Auto parts, what is it called? Uh, um, automotive. Uh, automotive order parts. Yeah, AAP up 47 cents at 66.89. Um, made a, a recovery high. This has been the weakest one of all. It was once up in the 240s. It dropped down to the uh, 49 level, and now it's trading peak A, B, C, leg D in the weekly chart. But it's uh, unlike the others. It's the weakest of them all. So it's come off the high quite sharply, 69.92. Now it's at 66.89. So here, here, are the thing, here are the things that I'm looking at. The TLT, that's the Lehman 20-year Treasury bond ETF, up uh, 59 cents at 94.11. In leg B, so let's look at the TBT because that should be pulling back now from a high. So that went to a peak C. It could, it could be an alternate count. I didn't want to give it the alternate count because it was doing so nicely in the nine period. Moving average was strong. The MACD was strong. On balance was But the speed with which we've pulled back says, hmm, this could be an alternate count. E slash C and then goes to an E. I'm watching it closely. It's in the higher range. But it is uh, coming down quite sharply, down 38 cents. Uh, so that's 33.63, that's 3.363 as a percentage. Uh, I wanted to show you here um, the difference between gold, which is now up 14 to 2056, and silver. Look at that, that's leg B. 
very strong navy. And look at silver, just kind of in the doldrums here, up 21 cents at 22.85. It's so interesting how they've been rotating in negativity and positive just in their daily charts. Every once in a while, one leads, the other one uh, takes over, and they, they reverse. And now silver's a lot weaker in this daily chart than the gold. So I'm watching it very closely to see because we've got high-grade copper going nowhere. It's up 0.01 at 3.85, stuck on the 200-period moving average. Crude oil, I've been watching very closely because I've been seeing some of those uh, uh, small cap, uh, smaller cap oil and gas um, exploration companies doing so well lately. Um, so this is very interesting. I wanted to show you something we're all over the show. Look, here are the little, these are the small caps. This is Marquette Inc. A shares. Um, they basically tailor payment cards to whatever is needed by the company that is using them. And it's had a spectacular run from the 560 level on the 13th of February all the way to the 730s. I mean, that's a big percentage. Sharp pullback today, almost 10%. But I'm just fascinated by the way, some of these very low price, and they're all over the show. Yes, HBM. HBM is Hud Bay Minerals, Inc., Copper, and have, has other metals. Very nice rally. Look, it goes from under $5 to $5.88 today. Um, breaks this trend line resistance. HBM is the symbol up $0.07 cents at $5.88. So I've had a bunch of these in my screamer list that I'm – I'm kind of following and I'm rather intrigued by the fact that it's this very low price. It's metals and, and oil uh, service doing quite nicely. And therefore, I would, um, I, I'm looking at that for this particular month, month of March to see do we see this rotation uh, where, as a stock like a Microsoft trading down a little bit today? Oh, it's up one. But it's been stuck in this range in a chapter wave two bar reversal at the all time high of 420.82, freshly lower high the next day, and then a gap down, and then it filled the gap, and now it's just kind of stuck in the middle of the range. Amazon. Oh, let me just say, because some people want to know a little bit more. If um, Microsoft closes into this gap here, goes below 403.85. I suspect it's going to be a very quick run to the downside to test the 397.22 low of the 22nd, uh, 21st of Feb. Uh, Amazon uh, is trading. Amazon, let me just go there right now. AMZN. Nice session today, up $1.69, 174.87. And this is fascinating because this is one that I've I mean, in the beginning – when we were coming into the end of January, beginning of February, and all over the show, there were round numbers. But lately, there haven't been any round numbers uh, that I've been noticing. So um, this one seems to be holding up a lot better. It's up near the high part of the range. All-time high is 188.65. The most recent high is 176.37. little double top there. So this could turn into, uh, yeah, first cup. And now a little second cup. And we're going to see, is this a cup and handle breakout over the next few days? Does it go to 178 very quickly? Or does it stall? That's what I'm going to be watching here. So it's very selective. Uh, let me go to Apple. Apple is trading down. Uh, no, it's up 16 cents now, 181.56. But look at this. It makes it lower highs and lower lows. It's, it keeps testing the 200 period moving average. Uh, very few round, there were round numbers, 190, 188, 180, and now it's trading at 181.52. And the weekly charge just says, yeah, Apple's kind of stuck for now. I don't see it. At this point, it hasn't broken down. And there was a, someone uh, sent me a note, and I, I couldn't really read it. Uh, let me see if I can get it, because I think it, it doesn't to uh, does it refer to... Let me see what it says. Uh, yeah, Apple of China. That's Xiao Xiaoyong, X-I-A-O-M-I. Uh, bets on new EV S SU7 targets. Thank you, Gary, for that. Yeah, so there are things going on with Apple. Oh, I just heard a little ping. A little ping says, 
I've got to go to see who's there. And it's Brent Martinez. Brent, how are you? I'm doing well, Basil. Good morning to you. Good morning. So we're looking at, oh, you mentioned this just as we were going off the air yesterday, SQM. And um, this is uh, Sociedad Pumeca. I can't see it from here, but that's kind of what I'm looking at. What What's the name? Yeah, well, you got it close enough for me. <laughs> As I said, it's a Chilean company, so... Of course, okay. You know. Well, it ain't chilly today. Actually, it's chilly. It is chilly because it's hot, hot, hot. <laughs> it, it's up 512, $5.12 cents at 51.20, up 11 cents. I had someone uh, yesterday saying, wow, we should get uh, Brent more on the program. Yeah, because he's got some fantastic positions. So, Brent, I'm coming back with this. I'm going to do a little work on the, in the break to see exactly how it's pronounced. I'll be right back, folks. Dow's down 28. Uh, Currencies, it. commodities, and bond markets are as important as ever right now with how they're driving the volatility in equity markets across the globe, which is why it's a great time to try out Teddy Kegstat's Tiger Forex Report. Teddy Kegstat breaks down the Forex markets every Monday using his 30-plus years of experience as a trading veteran of futures, Forex, stocks, and options. Teddy releases his weekly Tiger Forex Report every Monday morning with coverage of all the major currency pairs, including the dollar index, the euro dollar, pound dollar, dollar Swiss, dollar yen as well as many more and he also has weekly coverage of the crude oil market and the 30-year t-bonds as they both influence forex markets tremendously when you sign up for the tiger forex report you also gain instant access to teddy's 60-minute webinar archive he just hosted forex strategies and fundamentals what is behind the tiger forex report for all the details and to start your 30-day tiger forex report subscription today visit the front page of tfnn.com tfnn educating investors you might think that if you want to be successful at trading in the stock market, you're going to need a crystal ball. After all, it's impossible to predict the future, right? Like any endeavor in life, before you decide it's impossible, get some advice from the experts. You might find that it's not so impossible after all. For daily market overviews that give you direction on the key indices, selective stocks, and commodities, subscribe to the opening call newsletter at TFNN.com. The opening call newsletter is written by Basil Chapman, creator of the trading methodology known as the Chapman Wave. The Chapman Wave up-down sequence gives you an edge in identifying price turns, finding the peaks and valleys in stock prices. Get the opening call newsletter by Basil Chapman in your inbox every day. First-time subscribers also get a 30-day money-back guarantee. If you're not satisfied, let us know, and you'll get a full refund within 30 days of signing up. TFNN.com, educating investors. Are you ready to take charge of your financial future? TFNN is your gateway to the world of trading and investing. Whether you're starting out or scaling up, TFNN empowers traders and investors of all skill levels with top-notch investing systems, strategies, and techniques. It's time to protect and grow your money with insight you can trust. Join us live Monday through Friday during market hours for exclusive content that moves with the markets. At TFNN, we bring the trading floor to you. Our seasoned hosts are here to answer your calls and questions live on the air. Check out the Tiger's Den for just $1 and follow us on YouTube and become part of our vibrant community. And remember, at TFNN, we're so confident in the value we provide that we offer a 30-day money-back guarantee on all new premium newsletter subscriptions and services. You have absolutely nothing to risk, so why wait? Tune in live to Tiger TV and transform your trading journey. Because when you know better, you invest better. Join us and experience the difference today. TFNN, educating investors. Don't forget, you can listen to TFNN live on your mobile device 24 hours per day. Go to TFNN.com and hit Watch Tiger TV. That's TFNN.com and hit Watch Tiger TV. Hi, guys, we're back. We're back with Brent, and we're looking at uh, Sociedad Quimeca e Minere de Chile. So, SA, this is an ADI, does fertilizers, potash. Oh, it's one T in potash. Let me just get rid of that. Potash, uh, iodine, uh, let's see, lithium. And it. Uh, and one report there said um, SQM earnings drop 82% on lithium revenue plunge of 69%. That's three hours ago. Yeah, the Motley Fool. And another one says... Um, SQM reports earnings for 12 months ended. Anyway, so 
Obviously, they just hated the results, Brent, because it's only up 11%. <laughs> Up five dollars at fifty one point sixteen, and uh, it made a peak D, and and then it kept kept going in a leg. Ian's very interesting. It's very seldom off a low that you get the kind of move that you're getting right here, where it takes out a particular left side high um, in so short a time frame. And that was the high of the twenty fourth of January at fifty point seventy four, and you're already in leg E. Usually you get this, it's kind of a leg C, it's doing really well. Um, regardless of that spike today, even that the very quick move from the low of 38.50 on the 5th of February. So 38 to 51 is fabulous. So tell me about it. Oh, I just, I am taking a little off today just to, like you always say, reward yourself. And it's just... Uh, I happened to mention it yesterday, and it's making this move today. So I thought it was worth you looking at and just giving your opinion. Fabulous. So the opinion is that um, the weekly chart, the, the daily chart, all the technicals are fabulous. In fact, it has a potential here with a jump wave squash pattern. That means that the MAC, that the price moved up very sharply at the same time that the stochastic soared to the upside to 80%. And the MACD has been very strong. The only difference is that the pattern, usually when this occurs, it's going to a C. And that usually says uh, you're going to go very quickly to a C. And then the D, when it, to get to a D, you pull back a little bit. This is not taken. It's had a couple of days of rest. It has two days, makes a new recovery high. Two days, new recovery high. Two days, and it just keeps doing that. So this is fabulous. And the fact that it's... Well, the day is young, but the fact that it's already at almost the high of the day after the gap, so it opens at 47.66, um, it closes yesterday in, in the 45s, so yes, it is 47.66, and the high is 51.50, and it's just a tad off the high. So not only do you have short covering, but the fact that it's in an area of the fertilizer, potash, iodine, um, lithium, all these different uh, minerals that I think a lot of people have kind of dismissed for a little while. I mean, that's why we're in the particular stock that we're in, um, in the opening call that's, in, that's kind of in this area, because I think that we've had the grains, and I'm just going to, for, for a moment, I'm just going to diverse, di, diverge from what we're talking about. All the grains, like wheat, just terrible action in the grains. And it seemed to me that in the market, the way markets roll and they roll over and they, they constantly rotate, um, there was a good chance that this particular area, now let's look at lithium, and lithium is trading up today. Oh, look at that. It almost has the same pattern. A, B, C. Lit is the uh, lithium. I think this is the ETF. The ETF. I don't know if they call it an ETF, but it should be called something like that. Um, Inc. Uh, so this is the Global X Lithium and Battery Inc. Yeah, so this is uh, basically like a fund. And that's a peak A right there. Peak B, and this is leg C. This is the first time, and this is what we've been anticipating, and that's the reason why I believe quite strongly that we are really close to some kind of a digestive phase in what's been extraordinary leadership up until now, and that includes uh, the really the big caps like the, the Mega Seven, Mag Seven, Magnificent Seven, and um, includes. Just a couple of areas there as well. That would be semiconductors and certain tech companies. And there could be a rest here. And now we have to look at what's working in areas that were failing quite badly. And money will want to go into those areas. And that's the reason why I'm going to watch gold very closely. Uh, you didn't call about gold, but I'm just adding it because I'm trying to sh explain to you that what I was trying to get at yesterday was that, the, yep, there's gold, now it's up 15. So there's a chance gold might not participate as well. And what I had said was I'm anticipating that Bitcoin could be very close to some kind of a, dish, a, a digestive phase, and that would allow areas like gold and some of these uh, areas like the fertilizer area 
to be able to uh, move higher. That's all. And I think you pointed, pointed it very well by going to SQM. And as I said, it just is following the lithium chart beautifully. So I like it. So when you look at the upside, I don't think we should be looking at the upside because that's you've got 857 as the 200 period moving average uh, in the uh, daily, but it's it's 61 in the weekly. So that's just anything can go to the upside. It's what we've got to look at as what would sustain the move to the upside. And that pink nine period moving average in the weekly chart is still horrible. It's turning up. But it's not very good. MACD's just turned positive for the first time in ages. Uh, stochastic's only at 17%. So this is a work in progress. That could be really good for you because at this particular point, you want no one to be looking at these things and you want them to recognize it in time, maybe three weeks or so, and in price. And I don't want the price to happen too soon because that would start to put some kind of pressure on the selling. So I like what you're seeing right now. So the, the support that I'd be looking at, let's exclude today's low 47.55. I'd actually go to the entire 47 to 46 area. That's your support level looking out over a couple of weeks. If this goes, today's Thursday. If by next week, midweek, Wednesday or so, it is actually touched 53 or 54, that raises the base considerably. That's really what you want to see. Congratulations. Wow, good eye. Very, very nice. All right, thank you so much, Basil. <clears throat> excuse me. I'll well, thank you. Uh, <clears throat> excuse me. Plan on calling you soon, and and uh, I always have other little ones that I find, and and uh, I'll try to share those with you in the future. Wonderful. Thank you very much. Uh, we appreciate it. a lot of the audience appreciates it, Brent. Thank you very much for calling. Congratulations, right, take care, Basil. Great to talk Thanks with you again. You too. Thank you. Bye. 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 So, folks, let's just do this here. What I had said to subscribers couple of weeks ago, is that to get a sell-off, meaningful sell-off, let's just go back to the S&P right now. S&P is up 14. The way I look at the market, you only get major sell-offs when the futures are heavily down. And it has to be on bad news. It mustn't just be an isolated thing like we had that was a one up there. That is enough because the yields are coming down a little bit. Uh, I don't know where we're going to get the bad news from. It just be natural selling because you want the Dow down 370 to 420. You want the S&P down 58 to 62 and then try to rally and then fail and do the same thing the next day. Two consecutive bad days. This is not the case. I'll be back. The Gold Report. As a precious metal, gold is still king. It continues to hold the most effective safe haven and hedging properties across the global major trading hubs of the London OTC market, the U.S. futures market, and the Shanghai Gold Exchange. The Gold Report. Tom O'Brien publishes his weekly gold report every Monday morning for subscribers, consisting of coverage of the XAU, HUI, GDX, the dollar, bonds, the South African RAND, as well as 25 different mining equities with specific buy-sell recommendations. The Gold Report. New subscribers get a 30-day money-back guarantee so you have nothing to risk. Subscribe to Tom O'Brien's Gold Report newsletter now at tfnn.com. Are you ready to take your trading to the next level? Introducing Tom O'Brien's award-winning newsletter, Market Insights, your key to successful active trading. Tom O'Brien, renowned for his expertise in the financial markets, has designed Market Insights to be your daily guide to profitable trades. Tom publishes his daily Market Insights newsletter every market day before the market open, along with updates when warranted. Stay ahead of the game with Tom's real-time analysis and trade recommendations delivered straight to your inbox. Whether you're a seasoned trader or just starting out, Market Insights provides the edge you need to navigate the markets with confidence. Ready to join the ranks of successful traders? Head over to TFNN.com and subscribe to Market Insights today. Don't miss out on this opportunity to supercharge your trading results. Market Insights comes with a 30-day money-back guarantee for all new subscribers, so you have nothing to risk. 
Don't miss out on this opportunity to revolutionize your trading game. Head over to TFNN.com right now to join the thousands of traders who have already experienced the power of Tom O'Brien's award-winning newsletter, Market Insights, firsthand. TFNN, educating investors. Biotech is booming, but for how long? Whether you think the biotech bull has room to run or has run its course, trade LABU or LABD. Direction's daily S&P Biotech three times bull and bear ETFs. Visit directioninvestments.com slash biotech today. An investor should consider the investment objectives, risks, charges, and expenses of the Direction shares carefully before investing. The prospectus and summary prospectus contain this and other information about Direction shares. To obtain a prospectus or summary prospectus, please contact Direction shares at 866-476-7523. The prospectus or summary prospectus should be read carefully before investing. An investment in the funds is subject to risk, including the possible loss of principal. The funds are designed to be utilized only by sophisticated investors, such as traders and active investors. Distributor Foresight Fund Services, LLC. This program is brought to you by Vista Gold, traded on the NYSE American and TSX under the symbol VGZ. Hello. So uh, I was asked about um, EXAS. Can I look at that? So this X. EXAS is X Exact Sciences. Uh, when I was looking at, um, I, I got sent something with all the the, the um, insider selling, buying and selling. A list, huge selling in EXAS, um, and it tried to rally today. It is up a dollar eighteen fifty seven forty nine, but it's just been making lower lows and lower highs it's in a down channel. I didn't even bother with it because it looked quite poor. But I also thought, hmm, it's done so much. I, I would have to wait for a decent rally uh, to to actually consider shorting. It did get that rally, but I wasn't even looking at it when it did that. It hit the outer trend line. Um, yeah, this is and I'm, is this Kathy uh, Kathy Woodstock? Uh, well, if it is. Um, not a good, not a good look. Not a good look at all. So I would just say, if it breaks 55 in the next uh, week or two, uh, this is really going all the way down to the 40s. It just doesn't look good. Then in the den, uh, we had. Um, let me just see the lithium. Put that in. All right, T. Uh, we in the den we had uh, A2 mentioned. Swim. So I was looking at something the other day. Pool, a pool is um, P O L. It's just I I saw the, the the name flash by on a ticket. I thought, oh, I haven't looked at that for a long time. So pool is called five. Oh, I can just read this thing. A uh, pool corporation. Now I don't know if pool corporation is actually swimming pool. So let me just have a look at this. Pool corporation does what? Uh, P O O L. Is that a corporation? Did I say, yeah. Cool. Does. And what does it do? World's well, leading distributor of swimming pools. And I thought, gee, this is not such a great, a great thing. And then I didn't, yeah, I think it was the day that I saw the spike up. So it hit 405, something like that. Uh, but it also had made a three, uh, three, something like a 365 low that day. And looked to me like an inverted Chapman Wave Roman candle. And I thought to myself, okay, I must follow this, and I forgot to follow it. But the rule being that if it goes halfway into the wick and it holds there for a good 60 minutes or so, this is a daily chart, so I have to look at a smaller time frame, there's a really good chance it could retest the highs. Well, today it's up 7.74 uh, at 400.83. It had a round number open. Oh, my God. How, what is this? And I follow round numbers <laughs> Believe me, it's not like it's the first time I suddenly saw I followed round numbers. I, I mean, when I say forever, I mean forever. Um, and so 319, it's up on that news. And then in the den was mentioned swim. So swim, and I thought, mm, this is good. We're getting into the season. After all, it's coming into spring. Um, I, this is a good time to be looking at it. So swim is huge move up, up 20% today, $3.30. Point fifty six. This is called Latham Group. I thought it was going to say lithium. I thought, wait a minute. 
Schwimm is good with no, the Latham, Latham Group, Inc. Um, beautiful chart, peak A, peak B, peak C. Yes, your leg D, way above the 200 period moving average in the, in the weekly chart, A, B, C, D, E. Um, and look at that. Oh, the monthly chart. This is a stock that was once uh, just under 35, and it went all the way down to uh, less than $2, or around about $2, just over $2. And here it is at 331. Hey, good eye. I don't know if you had that uh, A2, but yeah, left for dead. Ripping on the, oh, H-A-Y-W. Hayward something or other? H-A-Y-W? Whoa, look at that. Up 17% at 15.38, up 2.29. Hay Hayward Holdings. Oh, I get, oh so a fellow pool supplier. Let me make a note of this. I bet everybody's doing that. H A Y W P O O L. And what was the one? Swim. All right. Well, what a day we've got here. Got lithium, got the Dow down 60. Good. Now, I believe I might be wrong, but I think we might have been stopped out of our short position in the SMH. And we just nibbled at it. It's just like a, a starter. We wanted to get a feel for it. Yeah, I think we did. S O X S. Uh, we hit 390. That was our stop. We're in just over four. Just a real tight stop. A little nibble at it. I'm not afraid to be going back into it if if it warrants it. I'm not. I'm out. Looking at it fresh. That's all there is to it. Um, yeah, this is going to be very interesting because look at the world with everything that's been going on. Look at the SMHs here. SMH. Holding very nicely. It should actually be right now more than above the 213.36 high. It should be challenging the inside track repellent zone, and it hasn't done it yet. But it hasn't it hasn't broken down, and the pattern that we're looking at here is possibly. Whoops! Look at this. This is the Chapway falling axe formation. Ho 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 ho! So we're going to be watching out if there's going to be a break to the upside. But as I said, um, I I can't believe how many round numbers there are. What does it mean? I'll only know later on. This is, it's it's an ongoing process that you look back and you say, it's like a doji candle. Or it's like a gap. It's like anything that is an icon of something that is an aberration to the norm. And then you look back and you say, what did it mean? It's the number of round numbers that I'm looking at that is the issue. And it's just another one of those uh, things that we look at. Okay, so the other thing is, where was it? AI. Oh, I wanted to look at the Tiger YouTube. Um, oh, yes, 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 yes. Um, look at PPA. Yeah, PPA. Mm -mm. PPA is the uh, Invesco Aerospace and uh, Aerospace and Defense portfolio. Absolutely spectacular. I had a chat wave inside. Oops, I had a right here a peak d instant restart so it's in an f right there f and a g slash c i mean anyway you look at it don't tell me this isn't overbought but overbought doesn't mean to say it doesn't know it's overbought only we can see it visually so you've got to do other work and the weekly chart is still only in leg c and the monthly chart is oh 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 oh, oh. yeah i've got this as uh, 92, 37, 92, 32. Oh my! So, <laughs> so that's that was. Is that an instant restart in the monthly? No, it's not. But it's E F G S C. So G S C in the should be uppercase in the daily. C in the weekly. It's still very strong. So I'm going to type in F, and then I am going to put the alternate count because it's very important. It's a monthly chance. You don't have to worry about it just yet. It's that weekly chance that's more important. And uppercase here. There's a, I circled it. Chapman Wave Instant Restart. Uh, G slash C. Yeah, be absolutely fabulous. And I, I wonder if Boeing is actually coming on strong today. Yeah. No, Boeing is weak today, down 361. And it had a spike yesterday on some news. And now it's pulling back on some news. Down down 14. S&P up 15. I'll be right back for the final segment of the opening call. 
Oh, and someone put in, yeah, definitely put in a list of the lithium stuff. Good to know. I'll be right back. Are you ready to take charge of your financial future? TFNN is your gateway to the world of trading and investing. Whether you're starting out or scaling up, TFNN empowers traders and investors of all skill levels with top-notch investing systems, strategies, and techniques. It's time to protect and grow your money with insight you can trust. Join us live Monday through Friday during market hours for exclusive content that moves with the markets. At TFNN, we bring the trading floor to you. Our seasoned hosts are here to answer your calls and questions live on the air. Check out the Tiger's Den for just $1 and follow us on YouTube and become part of our vibrant community. And remember, at TFNN, we're so confident in the value we provide that we offer a 30-day money-back guarantee on all new premium newsletter subscriptions and services. You have absolutely nothing to risk. So why wait? Tune in live to Tiger TV and transform your trading journey. Because when you know better, you invest better. Join us and experience the difference today. TFNN, educating investors. The reality is that navigating financial markets can be risky. Markets can be chaotic and difficult to understand. Having the latest market advice can help you turn this chaos into a key for creating winning trades. At TFNN, we understand that it can be hard to find reliable market news. That's why each of our market experts offers their very own market newsletter a must-have tool for every trader out there striving to find an edge in today's markets. TFNN newsletters cover every aspect of the markets so you can analyze the market before you trade. Try any of our great newsletters risk-free with our 30-day money-back guarantee. Just visit the Newsletters tab on the front page of TFNN.com. TFNN educating investors everything in the universe is governed by the fibonacci sequence this mathematical principle is responsible for everything from the most aesthetically pleasing artwork to patterns in the stock market to stay on top of stock patterns you can take advantage of sign up for the fibonacci 24 7 newsletter at tfnn.com when you subscribe you'll get a weekly report from veteran day trader larry pesavento on stocks you need to pay attention to and you can trust larry's analysis after all he's got 45 years experience as a day trader. Larry will also provide daily charts, videos, and data on the key markets that he's tracking. Expect notifications from Larry on market movement you need to act on at any time. First-time subscribers also get a 30-day money-back guarantee. If you're not satisfied, let us know and you'll get a full refund within 30 days of signing up. Subscribe to the Fibonacci 24-7 newsletter today. TFNN.com. Educating investors. Sharpening your skills as an investor is like getting better at playing a musical instrument. You have to practice, sure, but you also need excellent instruction from experts. At TFNN, you'll get advice and guidance from the authority in technical market analysis. And it's not just dry, tedious text either. TFNN airs live financial content streamed live on TFNN.com and TFNN's YouTube channel with Tiger TV. Live every market day from 8.30 a.m. to 4 p.m. Eastern for free. Each host is an experienced trader and gives their take on the market while taking calls and questions live from around the world. From the moment the market opens until the closing bell sounds, Tiger TV has eight different shows with expert hosts to help you make the right moves with your money. Watch online at TFNN.com or on TFNN's YouTube channel and become the investor you were born to be. TFNN, educating investors. Don't forget, you can listen to TFNN live on your mobile device 24 hours per day. Go to TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV. That's TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV. Hi, folks, we're back. We're looking at the Dow down uh, 49, S&P's up 9. So what I'm looking at here is some kind of softening of the up move. Um, I'm looking also at what happens coming midweek next week. To me, the, be the real beginning of March is next week, not, the, not uh, tomorrow, the first day of March. It'll have to be around about the 3rd or 4th. 
And if at that particular point, I, I'll tell you right now what I'm looking at, if the Dow is under the uh, key support level of 38, at this point, let's call it 700, that's going to say, watch out, because the next key support is this up-channel uh, support line right there of 38,500. S&P, so anything can happen on the upside. I'm saying what happens on the downside, what to look for. If the S&P at 5,081 takes out 5... 48 on the uh, as support, then you've got to be careful because 5032 is going to be really important to hold. But at this point, there's no you're not getting those huge uh, moves to the downside with the futures, etc. They're still buying, and that buying is moving up the market. So I don't want to be fighting that. Have a great rest of the day. Safe here for Steve Rose. Check out the opening for daily newsletter.